Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Top 5 Niches of the Week, episode 81. I got five new print-on-demand niches for you that are selling really well that'll hopefully increase your sales in the short term. Now, I don't just have five new Christmas-themed niches for you. Uh, This week, I really wanna suggest that you aim to sell in niches that people are passionate about because it's not just about selling Christmas shirts, right? You can, what do people buy for Christmas? People buy gifts, um, people might buy stuff for themselves too, but I'd say it's gifting season. So think about what you would buy for one of your best friends, one of your family members. You probably think, oh yeah, this is one of their hobbies. This is one of their passions and tap into those niches because those are selling really well right now. And they can tend to fly under the radar because they're not the lowest hanging fruit. The lowest hanging fruit is doing like Christmas cross niching. So I've got five good niches for you. One of them is Christmas related. The other four are related to things that people are generally speaking pretty interested in. So let's get started. Real quick, before we get to the top five niches, I wanted to mention that I extended this week's free print on demand giveaway. So you can find a link in the description to enter that. And I tried to solve a problem that I'm assuming I'm not the only one. Uh, having this problem and that is when it's black friday and cyber monday i'm getting too many emails too much communication from different companies and i have trouble staying on top of like what the actual deals are that are worthwhile so what i did is i built a web page on my website i'll put it at the top of the description and i put links to the deals i tell you how much money you're saving and over the past two days, those of you guys that are subscribed and have the bell uh, notification clicked, I know you know that uh, I dropped like I think 10 videos in the last two days just trying to put those deals in front of you and tell you how I use that tool or service in my business. So if you use the link in the description, you'll find uh, deals on my passive income courses, you'll find print on demand design deals, print on demand research deals, print on demand tools like automation and niche research, uh, Etsy specific tools, Amazon KDP tools. I really love the Bose Publishing Puzzle Generator. I reviewed that yesterday. Uh, Amazon FBA tools that I use in my business. And one of my favorites, this is my first year uh, participating in this, but the Financial Freedom Super Stack. I've got a course bundled in that bundle of finance-related courses. I've already had great feedback from a couple people that decided to check it out, guys, but it's like $49. It's 98% savings. So check that one out. Um, that'll be in the in the description as well. I'll just put links to everything in the description, guys. All right, thank you for letting me get that out the way. I know you're tired of hearing about Black Friday. <laughs> Let's get to these top five niches. I've got some good ones for you. So niche number one feels a little bit random because I don't know about you guys, but it's cold outside where I live. And uh, this is dirt biking and like motocross. Uh, This popped up on my radar when I was doing research preparing for this video. And when I went and I searched for the word BRAP, (laughs) B-R-A-A-A-P, the engine noise, I guess, uh, it returned like all of page one was just crushing as far as BSR goes. So here's just a quick snapshot. You got like 38,000. 150,000, 160,000, 200,000. Here's a couple more, 100,000, 300,000, 400,000, 200,000, 400,000. All right, guys, so I'm not saying, oh yeah, it's this one little micro niche. I'm saying, hey, look at this as a whole, dirt biking, riding bikes, all right, motocross, whatever you wanna call it, and experiment with different keywords. When you search different keywords in Amazon, you're gonna get different results. But yeah, these shirts are selling extremely well, okay? And don't be deterred by the fact that some of these shirts have clearly been around for a while, you can see they've got like 400 reviews, at least what this is doing is showing you that customers are going to Amazon and looking for shirts in this niche. There's always new uh, potential for different cross-niching, sub-niches, whatever it is. It could even be cross-niching within the dirt biking niche, tie two of them together, all right? So I wanted to put this one on your radar first because some of those BSRs are just really impressive. Uh, From Flying Research here, you can see the uh, one of the best sellers, 41,000 BSR. Pretty easy to execute design, by the way. You can use all American graphics from the makers of all sunsets to get one of those like distressed vertical American flags. Type in your text in Photoshop and uh, put you know a graphic of a dirt biker over top. Do a color overlay, and you're good to go. You can make. I'm not saying that you you know should steal this design or anything like that. I'm just saying like if you want to make a similar design, in theory, it would take you like two minutes to do what I just described. So. Um, Yeah, and I'll put a link to All American Graphics in the description as well because they're running a nice Black Friday deal of like 33% off. All right, niche number two. And this is related to trains. Specifically, the best-selling sub-niche of the trains niche is take them to the train station. And uh, while I was looking at this, 
I saw the word Yellowstone popping up. Now, I don't know if that's a TV show. I know it's a location, <laughs> but I'm assuming maybe there's like a TV show or a movie where they said, take him to the train station. Typically, when you're looking at like a, a niche, like trains, and you see the same phrase on all of them, uh, it's typically because somebody said that phrase. Anyways, as far as BSRs go, 190,000, 160,000, 900,000. Behind me, uh, 15,000. And the uh, bestseller behind me, uh, Flying Research Snapshot, 13,000 actually on this shirt. It's been selling extremely well since, well, for the last year. <laughs> Check that out. The worst this shirt uh, was doing was in about May of uh, 2021 when its BSR dropped to about 150,000. So this shirt has been doing incredibly well all year and right now is absolutely crushing it with a sub 15K BSR. Niche number three. And this is gaming. Okay. I know you didn't come here to say for me to say, Oh yeah, sell gaming shirts, but this is just a sub niche of gaming shirts. And not all these sub niches are going to (laughs) be easy to find, you know, as somebody who played a lot of world of Warcraft, you know, the concept of side quests, right? This, this sub niche of gaming says I'm not procrastinating. I'm doing side quests, but this kind of resonates with me. I've been, been there, done that as far as spent hundreds and probably thousands. I mean, definitely thousands, actually thousands of hours playing world of Warcraft. That's no joke for sure. Thousands of hours. Now that I think about it. Um, anyways, gaming, right? So many people love gaming and there's all these different types of gamings, like mobile gaming, desktop gaming, console gaming, right? Um, don't infringe by putting the name of the consoles, right? Or the names of the games, but just in general, uh, gaming concepts like running side quests. I'm sure there's side quests in games other than World of Warcraft, by the way. Um, but, you know, these sub niches, when you find some of them that are really selling pretty well, throw a design in there. Even if it's a quick text only design, you see this one right here behind me that I'm pointing to like this one's making sales. It's just text. Sometimes people want text only designs. Not everybody's a fan of like big dragon silhouettes. Okay. So sometimes simple ones work, you know, and they may work better than the ones with the the dragons for all we know. Uh, So don't be afraid to throw up a quick text only design, especially I'm just going to quickly remind, especially if you've got those unused upload slots, we all know that if you have an unused upload slot for sure, guarantee hundred percent, not much in life is guaranteed that it will not make you any money. An unused upload slot makes zero dollars every time. So quick text only design, upload it takes 30 seconds. And then you have a chance at making some money. All right. So this one, I'm not procrastinating. I'm doing side quests. It's a gaming sub niche. BSRs, 18,000, 59,000, 400,000, 800, 800K. And this one, one of the best sellers here, the 18,000 BSR. Uh, clearly, the people who made this design uh, did a pretty good job there. They went above and beyond with um, their approach to the design, various different graphic elements, nice color contrast, especially against that black shirt. Um, so really well executed, and they're being rewarded as such. Uh, 18,000 BSR, 19.99 price point. Uh, they're having a Merry Christmas. <laughs> All right, niche number four. And this is another, what I would call just interest, right? People are interested in, well, a lot of people like alcohol, you know, and then alcohol has got sub niches. So in this case, we're looking at bourbon shirts. Now, I don't just pick these at random. I go through um, research tools like Flying Research. In this case, I used uh, Pretty Merch last week. I used Flying Research this week. I may just alternate um, to get the feel for both the research tools. But this one is bourbon goes in wisdom comes out and there's plenty of different, you know, bourbon shirts you could make, but I noticed this one was selling pretty well Uh, at the, at the high end, the top end, you have a 60,000 BSR. You got one with 400,000 BSR, 190,000 BSR and 600,000 BSR behind me. Um, going with the, uh, what is that? The Jack Daniels style, um, bottle like up here, it looks like a Jack Daniels bottle. So, Hey, if you make a template that looks like this, as long as you don't mention Jack Daniels, you're probably okay. Right. Cause you're not exactly ripping off exactly how it looks. You're just doing one that invokes that familiarity with um, something that we associate with drinking bourbon. So it makes sense. All right. So here we go from flying research, the bestseller 46,000 BSR, by the way, I think you could improve on this design. Like they've got a pretty generic uh, sunset based template. If you guys missed my video on all sunsets, dropped it a couple days ago, you can make shirts that look like this one right here very easily. You don't even need to design the sunset. You just drag and drop it from all sunsets. If you go and start a subscription, it's like $2 a month and you can lock in a year license. So it's a pretty good deal. Um, you know, if you make one sale at 1999, you've literally paid for two months. <laughs> uh, but anyways, you can tell what they did. They just found a bourbon graphic and dragged and dropped it in the middle of their template. And then they switched the text up. Like if you just make a template like that, where you can quickly edit the text and then grab a graphic from wherever you get your graphics from, Vexels maybe, you know, anywhere, 
assuming that you don't take the time to design your own graphics. If you do, you know, sure, that's great if you're a good designer, but if you're not a good, good designer, keep it simple. Um, drag, drop, save, edit the text, save, you know what I mean? All right, niche number five, Christmas niche, as promised. This one is just D's nuts. Now, check out the, the reviews, and the one behind me only has two reviews. So when I see a shirt that's selling pretty darn well around Christmas in the Christmas niche without very many reviews, I'm like, hold up. This is something we may need to take note of, okay? So it's the Nutcracker, which we associate with Christmas, and D's nuts, which is kind of a, a meme. Let's just call it what it is, meme, funny meme. Uh, and they're selling like ugly Christmas sweater style designs um, on t-shirts, which is completely acceptable. If you have the upload slots or the submissions available, you know, also enable them on sweatshirts or hoodies because we know those ugly Christmas sweaters sell pretty well this time of year. But you can see here, BSRs, 140,000, 150,000, 700,000. The one behind me, 43,000. All right, here's another row of designs in this niche. 191,000, 130,000, 400,000, 500,000. So these D's Nuts designs, are selling really well. I don't know why. Is there, did I miss something? Like, is it like a TikTok trend or something? This shirt says 2019 actually. So maybe it's just Christmas, but some of those having only one review made me think like, maybe this is something that's new, but I guess if one of them was up in 2019, maybe it's not that new, but that was that also wasn't that long ago, even though it feels like a lifetime ago, doesn't it? <laughs> so here we go. All right, guys, in seller trends, we, as we wrap up the video, here are some shirts that have seen a significant jump in BSR recently right uh the let's go brandon ones i would stay away from by the way because while some of them are not getting removed we've seen so many of them getting removed it's not worth your account i would just stay away looking ahead if you want to sell shirts related to seemingly random holidays december 25th not seemingly random but that's christmas december 26th national candy cane day december 27th national fruitcake day december 28th boxing day december 30th that's got to be one of my favorite days of the year bacon day Bonus shirt that I want, liked and wanted to share. Guys, think outside the box. Couples t-shirts. Couples t-shirts. Honestly. What's not to love here? Uh, I noticed these while I was doing research. The You can do couples Christmas shirts the same way we did couples Thanksgiving shirts and couples Halloween shirts. So these say chest and then nuts. And notice the positioning of the uh, Christmas ornaments. <laughs> I mean, come on, that's pretty funny too. So great idea, couple shirts, you're gonna sell two instead of one and pretty darn funny. Deleted designs brought to you by Merch Ninja. So take a quick note, if you're selling in any of these niches, you may wanna consider pulling those designs. I noticed that one of these is like ripping off the new NHL team, the Kraken, so that's never a good idea. All right, guys, and before we sign off, just want to remind you, the giveaway is still active. It's still live. It's still free to enter. Use the uh, link in the description or go to reinhoek.com forward slash giveaway to be eligible to win my print-on-demand mega pack. The winners, two winners will be randomly selected and announced next week. They're going to get a license to Flying Research, Print-On-Demand Research Tools, Automate POD, Print-On-Demand Design Creation Automation, All-American Graphics, Premium Pre-Made Graphics, and Bubble Scout, the go-to Redbubble niche research tool. All of those, by the way, are also running Black Friday sales and Cyber Monday sales. So check it out, link in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Please enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you guys tomorrow.